Hello, World Wide Web. Welcome to Hanging With. I'm GW Pomager, and we are hanging at Megacon 2016 in Orlando, Florida. And we are here right now hanging with Josh Bauer, an artist, the artist from JB Designs, and the creator of this right here. This is amazing, man. This is awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually call this one Repairs. Repa yeah, I yep. would say so. Awesome, man. So, how's it going in there? It's going pretty well. Uh, a little slower than what I'm used to, but mm -hmm. people are coming in, liking the art, checking everything out. So uh, it's it's going pretty good. It's a massive haul to try to you know. Oh yeah. Get everybody by the yeah. Tables. Yeah. Yeah. I've been uh, yelling at people, and there's always those people that kind of stand off to the side. So I always make sure to you know I'm like you can come closer. I won't yeah, bite. I no, swear. It, so unless asked. Unless asked. And, you know, yeah. Oh you yeah. Negotiate for these things. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm wor I'm willing to work with everything. Right. So. We're artists, man. If it sells art, then, yeah. You know, hey. <laughs> yeah. You know, for a print, bite, you know, whatever you want. So do. how long have you been working professionally as an artist? Uh, well, professionally. Yeah. Um, well, I, because an artist is an artist from like birth. Yeah. So they give you a crayon, and that's the end of you. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing this, um, the con scene at least for I think I'm on my fourth year. Wow. Um, I did. I started a little bit like a year or two before that, kind of doing um, small art shows in and around the area. But yeah, uh, hardcore convention style, four years. And now uh, we, we see here you're in in oil. Uh, actually, this is acrylic. Acrylic, okay. Yeah, everybody thinks it's oil for some reason, but it's yeah. a, it's acrylic on canvas, and then I put like a protective spray on top of it, uh -huh. so it gives it that nice shine. Oh, wow. Also pulls out all the uh, dark colors. That's probably what it is, is, the texture and the sheen makes yeah. it look more like an oil. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, no one, like half the people guess right, and then everybody else guesses different things like airbrush, oil, this, yeah. that. So, and then when well, I tell them... I can them, see the, the brush a yeah. little bit, so... Well, and when they go, oh, you know, and I go, it's acrylic, and they're like... Seriously, I go. Yeah, I just have my own style of doing it, so yeah. it comes out to what it is here. So, is that your preference? Oh yeah, yeah. I do everything on acrylic. Um, I usually stick to canvases. I started earlier, early this year, doing uh, skateboard decks. Oh wow. Yeah. So um, they're not for riding, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Some people think they are, but you know, they're. Um, I go. I, Somebody has gone out riding. Just know it. Somebody is, yeah. somebody is like, and you're like, really? Oh, I, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping <laughs> not because they usually sell for a hundred dollars because wow. they're, you know, it's all hand done and yeah. all, you know. So yeah, I started those early this year and they've been doing pretty well. Great. Uh, they can find you on the web, right? Oh yeah. The, web, the easiest way, work. the easiest way to find everything uh, is joshbauerartist.com. Josh, but we're gonna put a uh, link down there in the description for you. That's joshbauerartist.com. Artist. Yep. And, um, and so, okay, so you've been coming to the cons now how long? Uh, four years now. Four years. Yeah, this is my third Megacon. With your third Megacon. Yep. All right. Yeah, I originally started at one called Ocala Comic Con. Oh, wow. That was my very first one, which is actually next weekend. <laughs> wow. So, so you're yeah. a busy guy. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. hopefully I have a voice by the time next weekend comes around. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've... Uh, this is the third one I've done. I started off in Artist Alley my first year, and now I'm in the vendors area. Oh wow! Yeah, Terrific. yeah, with all these big paintings, because this is actually a uh, mid-size painting. Mm -hmm. I've done some. This is 24 by 36. I have some that are 30 by 40 inches. Wow! Yeah, Great. so uh, I got to get a nice big, uh, nice big booth big to take it all up. Yeah. yeah, I'm almost bordering on doing uh, corner booths next so time. So we want some of the folks out there to know you, the artist, as a guy. Just oh yeah, we are, oh yeah. Right? So we, we like to kind of have you weigh in. We are here. Um, at Megacon, right? You're making the con circuit. Yep. So you're you a big fan too of comics and everything? Yeah, comics oh yeah. And, you know. Yeah, I uh, I didn't. Kind of pop all art, pop culture art. And I'm things. a big fan of art. Yeah. I've always been a big fan of art. So I've liked comics, but I usually collect them for the cover art. Mm -hmm. uh, I've always been a big. Who's your fan favorite of comic artist? If you had to emulate somebody, and that's where I want to go someday. Or that's that's all. Someday. It's always hard to choose because I don't follow the direct artist it's more like uh, I always really like Amanda Connor's artwork mm -hmm. she does a really nice job and her husband uh, Jimmy Palmiotti mm -hmm. they do really talented stuff so those are two that I really look up to and love the style of everything it, it keeps you going inspires yeah you to see that yeah I um I've never really wanted to go into the comic stuff I just appreciate it very well because yeah. mine's paintings I just you, it's hard to take a painting and make it into a comic yeah well, um, but it's hard also I, I would think to get um, as an artist to get your message out in your art without right. an understanding of the subject matter. And right. You're, you're doing comic subject matter, so mm -hmm. you kind of have to have a little bit of a grasp on yeah. 
the story they're trying to tell, so you oh, can yeah. tell yours. Yeah, I, uh, I read some of the comics here and there. I mean, there's so many to read anymore. Absolutely, it's hard. Yeah. But I keep up with the news, and I follow all the geeky trends, so it's uh, I kind of know what's going on. There's always somebody that comes up to the booth and goes, oh, did you hear that this happened? I'm like... No, but I was yeah. painting that day. I was painting yeah. that day. But yeah, I, I watch loving all of the. I watch all the TV shows, the movies. Loving the movies. Loving the movies. They're really, loving the movies. They're really, they've stepped up the game. When it comes oh yeah. To superhero movies. Oh yeah. It's way. it's been amazing, and it's always you know what's going to happen for the next one, and yeah. just the build ups getting Civil fun. Civil War in theaters right now. Team yes. Cap or Team Iron Man. Ah, that's always a hard choice. I was uh, through the movie. I was Team Captain America. Yeah? Yeah, I uh, I was more for what he was fighting for and everything. I understand both sides, but I was more Team Cap. Yeah, well, you know, I think uh, it's the artist in us. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And, and uh, kind of an old school interpretation of liberty. As oh, yeah. Well, and you look through all the things that, you know, what it, that act would involve. And, you know, if you got the names, they're like, oh, well, the names won't be released. You know, things happen. I mean, especially in their universe, Hydra was yeah. what they were yeah. through the whole time. So it's like, you know, you the names could get out and then your family's in trouble. Yeah. So yeah, that's it's, that's it's, like the automatic thing I was going. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't get to find out my name. Uh, but what, what, uh, when you do get time, when you're not, you know, bent over a canvas <laughs> getting it done, right? Yes. Um, what are you watching on TV right now? Oh man, I love the Flash. Loving the Flash. Loving the Flash. I am an addict for the Flash. Uh, Not just the Flash, or are you kind of a Claro universe? Oh yeah, I love them yeah. all. I'm really into Arrow. Um, the we got Supergirl coming over to the CW this year I'm to hoping, join that universe a little bit. Yeah, I'm hoping they tweak that up a bit. Yeah. Um, Supergirl's good, but I, it feels kind of campy to me. It's a little too pretty. Yeah, it's it it is. Uh, everything was so dark for so long. DC yeah. uh, television was so dark for oh, so long. Yeah. That uh, something that is that much more. Uh, oh yeah. Well, and it's not like because it's even the storylines. Uh, I watched a few of them, and then it kind of it just never piqued my interest. So, and then the episodes I watched, just the 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 backgrounds, like as an artist wise, it's yeah. just so bright. I mean, it you're is, watching it is even very rooms much, that have no windows. From the Flash and the Arrow universes, yeah. which are very dark, very stark. Yes. And then you get into the Supergirl, and it, it feels more like TV again. Yeah, yeah. Almost old TV. That it that, feels that like Lois and Clark. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, it, it feels uh, like it I'm, went... I'm, I, I will admit, just thanks to my kids, my, my sons, um, I actually, I, I'm huge. Uh, the way they did Superman in Smallville, I love. Oh, yeah, that was I good. love the idea of seeing a little more out of the suit, a little, you know, a lot more oh, yeah. of, of the de personal character development. Right. Um, and, uh, and like everybody, I think, on Facebook, Twitter, and the rest of the universe, we'd love to see Tom Welling in that suit for a little while. That would be yeah. great. Yeah, hopefully with uh, Supergirl coming to the CW... It'll be interesting to see if he Some comes opportunities back. opportunities there. Just, you know, even just a small appearance so you know he's still just around. Just that there's a universe that, you know, oh, yeah. acknowledgement for a, a generation. My yeah. generation is a Chris Reeve generation, so okay. we're not going to get any more acknowledgement. Yeah, you know, rest yeah soul. sadly enough. So uh, a little acknowledgement for that next generation that's oh, coming yeah. up. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's definitely, uh, I, they've got big opportunities, especially with the Legends of Tomorrow and everything. Yeah. And uh, they're working just on a big four-way crossover. Yeah. So I'm very excited to see what they come up with. Yeah, it is. Uh, I, when you get a chance to read comics and other books and things like that, uh, what's on the night table right now? What are you reading? What what, what, what puts you out at night before you got to do another day of art? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not big into reading. I've uh, it's okay. never it's very hard for me to sit down and read. I have a little bit of not like. I don't know if I actually have it or not, but ADD, Understood. you know, especially for an artist, I'm always like, always moving. I do hands. mini canvases, so I'm working on like five at one time, or like the big canvases, I'm working on wow. two or three at one time, because wow. you got, stuff has to dry, so I don't want to sit there bored. Favorite hero? Favorite hero. It's always a toss-up, um, but the number one that always comes to mind is Spider-Man. Spider-Man, okay. I always, what about Spider-Man kind of speaks to you? I always feel like I can, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Oh, um, please. I can always uh, relate to him. He's younger, you know, when I was reading, and even now, it's just, he's the younger kind of style. He's a smart aleck, which I always love. You know, <laughs> I love a guy that can fight somebody and make fun of them at the same time. 
Nice. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, you know, it's definitely worked for me. He's he's always a nerd too, getting beat around in school. I was the nerd in school, so I relate to a lot of things with them. And then, hey man, look look around. We're at MegaCon 2016. Oh yeah. The the geeks and the nerds are ruling the world here, man. Oh yeah, definitely now it is. But back in the 90s when I was growing up, it was. Uh, I grew up in the 80s. We were still locker stuffers at that yep. time. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't get into a locker, but uh, it was it was it was rough. <laughs> All right, well, we have to wrap it up here. We want to uh, end things here as we normally do by giving a special shout-out to Something Unique Magazine, Books, Chocolate, and Wine, Authors for Authors, the guys over at Wordfire Press, the Florida Book News, uh, and our great new friends here at Megacon. And thanks, Josh, for being here. We've been hanging with Josh Bauer, an artist. The creator of this piece here and many many others over at JB Designs if you're out in the con circuit get by to JB Designs check out Josh's work buy a painting it's the best way to support an artist or an author or a creator buy their work okay look down in the links uh, down in the description uh, so you can find Josh on the web and find out where he's going to be and what he's going to be doing remember click the little red button subscribe log on tune in see who we're hanging with next